Welcome back to the show. You know, I don't mind tossing a peep, but when I really want a sweet treat, I reach for the buttercream and cake. And if that craving turns to baking with my kids, then all the better. But to make life even sweeter, I just found out that Trophy Cupcakes has a DIY kit so we can have all the fun without all the work. And here to show me how to make the perfect cupcake is Trophy Cupcakes owner Jennifer Shea. Thank you so much for bringing this beautiful display so in today. To Man, these cakes are gorgeous. Thank you. But we're here to talk about your DIY cupcake kit. Mm -hmm. What is in it? So it's here. This uh, we developed this during COVID because everyone was at home and needed something fun and to sweet do. to do. Yes. And so the kit comes just like this, and then when you open it up, all this fun is just oh. ready for you. So buttercream. Um, this one's themed for Easter, so okay. it has all the Easter sprinkles. And then the fun part: cupcakes are already baked for you, and you don't have to worry about it. Genius. So we're gonna pull this out. Okay. And I'll take the big take box. Take that big box. All right. I will put Probably that put it over back here. here. So we've got our already baked cupcakes, okay. which just, you know, it's nice because yeah. you can get it delivered to your door. We ship this across the country. And less mess. My house is already messy with <laughs> everyone in it all the time. So yes, I'm here for that. So it comes with our, we call it Yum Fetty. Yum Fetty. Yum I think Fetty. that's cute. Okay. And chocolate. You can also get the, these kits in gluten free. Oh, you can? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, good. We were just talking about they have the most incredible gluten free cupcake with the raspberry and the meringue mm -hmm. and the almond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but let's focus on this, Amity. All so right. buttercream comes in the kit. You get these little bags. These little bags. Um, you either can decorate straight out of the tub or you can fill your pastry bag. Okay. Um, if you have tips, pastry tips, you can drop those in. Some people like to do kind of the fancier, you see kind of the fancier swirls. I see the fancy swirl. Um, that's just dropping in a pastry tip to one of these bags. Okay. Oh, good to know. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm not very fancy at this. I'm, I, I, might, I might embarrass you a little, but should I just go ahead and try it? You can. Okay. Or I can show you an show Easter me. basket show me, first. Show me an okay. Easter basket If first. I was going to make an Easter basket, I would just put, it doesn't have to be pretty, this part, just like a dollop on top. Okay. And then we've got our green tinted coconut. Okay. And then you're just dipping it in. Oh, see, this so is my easy. speed. I can do this. So easy. Okay. And so then you've got your nice little Easter grass base. That's adorable. These are just cute little basket handles that come in the kit. And so you go like that, <gasps> and then whatever you want to fill it with. So the kit has jelly beans. You can just, if you've got peeps, you can put peeps there. But so easy, so cute. Kids I love, love that. To and do you know this. what I love is that there's no way in the world I would find these, these little basket yep. things. So yep. I'm glad that you have done this. Okay, I love. Should I give it a try? Yeah. Okay. So. I've never been great at doing the frosting thing, but I'm glad you gave me the tutorial. And I'm glad that it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. But, but the bottom line is, if you're eating it and you're having fun, it doesn't matter what it looks like. How'd I do? This is it. perfect, I do, see? I mean, look, okay. it looks perfect. And then you pick your little basket handle. Take one. <laughs> and then just fill the basket. So oh, cute. I'm in love with this. This is so much fun. See, My grandma's I mean, gonna love this. We got little, little eggs in there. And this is like just a fun afternoon, evening, after dinner. I mean, I just keep getting feedback from families. Like we're two hours in and everyone's still having fun and we're sitting there just like being creative, having little contests on who, who, who is most make, creative, oh. who is over the top. It's really fun. And what a great thing to do because I think folks are getting together again this year for Easter mm -hmm. and we always wonder what to bring, what to bring. Mm -hmm. This has got to be the most thoughtful and, and heartfelt gift because, you know, it's coming straight from what your kids created or what you created. Yep. And this doesn't have to be just for kids, right? Like I could oh. see my girlfriends and I having fun with this. I've had so many uh, people reach out as well saying, you know, we had a girls night in and decorated cupcakes and during COVID people were having cupcake decorating on Zoom. Who would have oh, ever thought? I but, wouldn't. Yeah. I yeah. love that. What are you making here? So I just, you know, a little bit on top okay. and then again, I think whenever you dip the edges like that, all of a sudden it looks professional. It does. Um, and so I want you to try that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I know, got just, this. All right. Again, it's just, you're having fun. There was one thing in the kit that didn't make it on the table, so. I think this is really fascinating. Like, these are the tips that we love. So I didn't do a terrible job, but then I just, 
So look at these the, guys. Oh, oh So hello. all these fun sugar toppers also come in the kit. I dropped my cupcake, Jennifer. If you drop right. a cupcake in sprinkles, is it really dropping it? No. I mean, that's what's You know what, to that, by the way, if you take anything <laughs> away from our show today, it should be that. Oh, so that does cute. look pretty professional and nice. And since the trophy box comes in, you could even decorate all of these and then bring them to a party. They wouldn't even know. No, they would probably know. No, your cup, know. your cupcake decorators are amazing. They Look at know. this. I love it. So fun, right? So we can get these kits at Trophy, but do you still deliver them? We deliver them all around. We have a pretty huge zip code all around mm -hmm. Seattle and, and Bellevue East Side. And then the fun thing that's so exciting for us as a company is that we started shipping nationwide. Did you? So, Congratulations. Yeah, and except for Alaska and Hawaii, not yet. Not but yet. you could ship these all the way across the country and share a trophy with people on the East Coast, wherever. I love that. Mm -hmm. See, they'll be very delighted and lucky. <laughs> um, not only do you have these amazing kits, but we were talking about these absolutely gorgeous cakes. These high, they're called high hat cakes. I mean, you've seen nothing like them. In so your that, life. Yep. So we make, we call them magic cakes. That one's the Easter one. Oh, it magic does, cakes, It yes. does have a little high hat on top. And our high hats are one of the things that we're kind of known for. We've been doing these for 15 years, only for Easter. It's a big swirl of uh, marshmallow in there, yeah. dipped in Belgian chocolate ganache. They just kind of scream Easter uh, three days a year. People line up. We always recommend ordering in advance on our website. Okay. And you just kind of have to. I've never, go I've never for had it. one before. You ready for this? Ready? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's pink. You had a pink one. I got we pink We do one. different colors of, of the <laughs> marshmallows on the inside. Do I have chocolate all over? Do I have it all over? A little bit here. All over. <laughs> a little bit there. Totally worth it because. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> thank Jennifer, you. thank you so much for taking the time to help us be more creative, have more fun with our food, and also make life a better place with this cupcake. Thank you. Oh my goodness.